regarding the Camilla Valieva situation, for a long time, I decided I was not going to talk about it until we had a resolution on the case. Now that we have a resolution, this is what I want to say. Camilla is the only innocent party in this entire fiasco. This is a child that was supposed to be protected by several entities in her life. And they all, every single one of them, failed her. She is the only party in this shit show who is innocent. And for us to fully understand this, we need to understand the kind of environment that Camilla Valieva and all of the children like her are in. The head coach for Camilla, Miss Iteri Tuberetsi, herself has told us many times that these children are materials for her to mold to be turned into product. They're not human beings, they're materials. And if you have a piece of material, what do you care what you do to it, what you put into it? This is an environment where coaching staff like Danny G can go on public television and humiliate one of her skater, like, you know, Aliona Costanaya by saying she's difficult, she's lazy. And the only outcome of that is poor Aliona believing it and saying, now I just do what the coaches tell me. And that's exactly what she did. She did what the coaches told her to the point where she ended up breaking her arm. That is the environment we're in. It is the environment where Danny G, part of the coaching staff, can brag about the fact that Anna Sherbakova only eats two shrimps a day and she is great for that. Because she only eats two shrimps, she's not Fat like the others. That is the kind of environment that these children are in. This is the environment where one of the kids is injured, is in pain, and the head coach, Missy Teddy said, This is the kind of hell that she needs to go to. This is the mindset, this is the environment that this child was in. So, of course, if she's handed something and she's told to take it, she's not going to ask any question. This is not the Western world. In Russia, these coaches are revered. These coaches are like demigod. Whatever they say, go. And these families have no say. This is the kind of environment where when Iteri felt like Alina Zagidova was not being strict enough with herself, she told Alina's mother, you're not allowed to see your child. And for a year, Alina was not allowed to see her mother because she was going to be too much of a mama's girl. That is the level of power that we are talking about in the face of a 15-year-old. Now, yes, Iteri Tuberetsi, Danny G, um, Sergei Duktikov, yes, they are all part of the problem. However, they are not the disease. They are simply the symptom to the disease. The real disease here is the International Skating Union. The real disease here are the commentators who have held the bullshit that Ethereum was going, was doing to these girls. We're talking about Johnny Weir, Tara Dupinsky. We're talking about Ted Burton. The disease here are these judges who rewarded the bad behavior, the pre-rotation, the, the, the jumps that they knew were not fully rotated that told these girls what we were doing is justified because we are winning. If Teddy in her camp, Sumbo 70, are a symptom of a disease, of a rot, of a corruption, which is the heart of the ISU which is the judging, which is corrupt, which is immoral, who have guidelines that they do not follow. Yes, Iteri is a problem. But you know what? If we focus all on Iteri, you know what's going to happen? The, the whole ISU is going to be like, well, we dealt with Iteri, um, so we're all good. And in four years from now, we're going to have something that's worse than Iteri. And instead of a girl having to be humiliated on international stage for doping, instead of children having to be carried off the ice with broken hip, instead of girls getting their dream crushed from them with broken harm, we're probably going to end up with something so much worse. The minute I heard that the president of the ISU, um, Han Dajik Dakima, was retiring, 
you know the first thing that came into my mind? They already know the kind of bullshit they're going to pull at the Olympic and they wanted a way out. They're going to say, you know what? All of these bad things that happen, happen under our last president. We're not a better ISU. We're not a good ISU. That was all with the old regime. Bullshit. Bullshit. They're going to try to feed us some nonsense and it is up to us to say we are not going to take it. Because you want to know something? Iteri Tuberetsi might not be a great human being or a good coach, but you know what she is? She's a great mother. Because Iteri Tuberetsi was not putting drugs into her daughter. Because Iteri Tuberetsi was not having her daughter practicing quads and triple axel that was going to damage her back. Iteri Tuberetsi put her daughter in an ice dance. Diana Davis is an ice dance and then Iteri used all of her power to push Diana to the top to the Olympics. While we're blaming everybody, where was Camilla Valieva's mother when her child was going through all this? Didn't she think to say, no, not my baby? Where were her parents? Where were Anna's parents? What, what was going on with Aliona's parents? All of these parties are guilty and complacent in this bullshit. The only person that is innocent is Camilla Valieva and all the other children. But the ISU, everybody needs to be fired. Those judges, all of them need to get permanent life ban. Tara, Johnny, and Todd Barton need to shut the hell up if they're not going to be neutral. If they're going to take Iteri's money or take the Russian dirty money or whoever's going to be the new Iteri's dirty money and push them up and turn a blind eye, they need to shut up because they are all complacent and they are all guilty.